Hey guys, it's Am Beans, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. First off, thank you so much for 20k subscribers. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of the love and support. Today, I'm super excited to bring this island tour to you. This is one of the most creative islands ever. This island's name is Blueberry and it's by squirrels underscore crossing on Instagram. This, she has made an island all around blueberries. She has done some very creative builds, making it appear as though we have blueberries in this game. Unfortunately, we do not, but she did a perfect job at the illusion, and I'm so excited to show you guys. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get started. First things first, we are pulling up her map. You can see her dream address on the screen. And here we have Squirrel, Dizzy, Broccolo, Blue Bear, Poncho, Mitzi, Ioni, Filbert, Hopkins, Bam, and Pate. All blue themed villagers. And let's check out this entrance. I hope you guys like the color blue because we are going to be seeing a lot of it. As you can already see, Resident Services is very close to the airport. It's right there. Very close to the airport. It's right there to the right. So let's go that way first. Here is a cute little picnic spot. And I always like to show the relationship of resident services to the airport to you guys. So here it is. It is beautifully decorated. I love all of the codes that she has used here. Look at those little blue buttons and the code under the mush lamp and then of course that little baby blue gyroid right there adorable so let's go back this way when you wake up from the dream in blueberry she left a bunch of presents for you right here in this spot oh and look we have a little shop and she even left us some money to buy some balloons. Some blueberry balloons. I love it. And this balloon shop code right there on the sign. How cute of a detail. All right, continuing to the left, I found the little chicken farm. And look how adorable those little chickens are that she added in here. And I love how she built the barn. Now to the left of the entrance, we have a little blueberry patch right here. Look how cute. So creative how she has used these items. I believe these are those little dolls that I don't exactly know the name of, but she turned them around backwards. And so now they look like big blueberries. And here is a little blueberry farm. And of course, all of these bushes are also blueberry bushes. You have to be a little open-minded because we don't have blue ones. But with just a little bit of editing, you can make them look blue. It's just super fun. Here is one of her river mouths that she blocked off. It looks adorable. These two houses right here. 
surrounded by all of the blueberry stuff. And then we have a little front yard, which looks like they might have a kid who plays here. Some candy in the yard. And these also look like blueberries, the glowing moss stools. So that is adorable. With the little saplings also. Let's continue and see what's back here. Looks like we have a blueberry field with a nice eating spot next to it. I love how she has some blueberry muffins, a blueberry pie, and the use of the blue ornaments who look like blueberries. And who knew that you could put custom designs on the crate? Never even thought of that. But here is the checkout counter where you can buy some blueberry pie and pastries. She even left money for you here as well. And I love the pie design on the stalls right there. This is so fun. I just want to frolic. Okay, sorry. Let's continue this way. I found a pond complete with blue duckies, of course. What a fun space filler here between the pathways. I love the use of the wheat grass. And that pond code is gorgeous. Look at the fish shadows. Amazing. And oh my gosh. I can't. Look at this. Blueberries farm. Look at the sheep drinking some water. That is so creative. They look so realistic, as well as the cows and the cow milk. Like, I am obsessed, you guys. This is beautiful. There are a lot of animals in this pasture. Super, super adorable. And then here is the main barn for all of those animals. I love the use of the storage shed to the left also that is useful and decorative. And these little blueberry gyroids, so cute. They look planted there because of those custom designs. And all of the small details here, it's all just perfection. Even if you notice the bushes on the second level of the barn. They look super decorative. Speaking of the second level of the barn, I just noticed there's a picnic spot up there. So let's go check that out. in front of another blueberry field. You gotta have lots of blueberry fields in order to farm a bunch of blueberries. Now look at this, you can hang out on top of the barn have a little snack and have a fantastic view. How fun. 
Okay, so let's head to the right. Oh, look who we found, squirrel. Very nice to meet you. How adorable. This nice little space filler area. These chairs are the perfect color combo. Always love little trees. And here we have three villager homes with an adorable bridge in the front of them. And check out those little bird feeders on the right side. We will get a closer look in just a second. But first, let's appreciate all of these details in these villagers' yards. There are some villager homes that are furnished. I typically don't go inside the villager homes on island tours because it's very time consuming. And I always encourage everybody to go visit these islands themselves. So that is something that you can do that you haven't seen on my channel. So you do still have an incentive to go visit. And look how cute these little birds are here. Adorable. And I just saw this blueberry pool complete with a lifeguard stand. How cute is that? I love it. And here is a true blueberry field leading up to the main house of squirrels. Right in front of the secret beach. Now I really want to frolic. She has used different sizes of these blueberries. It looks so realistic. I really want to go down this pathway, but we're meant to come from the other way. So let's continue this back area here first. Oh wow, and look at this, the blueberry forest. I love the use of the trees, the potted trees down there. Never thought about that to add some decor in front of your cliffs since you can't place the tree right in front of it. And look at this cute seating area here, a viewpoint of what is behind. It looks like a big tree, like a giant blueberry tree. I don't know if that's what she was going for, or it's like Blueberry Mountain, but this looks like a giant blueberry tree to me. And I love it. Now can we get down from here? No. We have to go back. I guess we will walk through this pathway backwards. I love that it's a little tunnel. Oh my gosh. How cute is this? The villager homes have inclines leading directly up to them and the, the stalls with the curtains in front of them, they look so good. There's so much depth here. I am obsessed with this area. This is adorable. Oh, and there's another one. This, so this is the other tunnel. Look how cute these houses are. The use of the windmills and the balloons. I love it so much. I'm all about that symmetry too. I love symmetry in Animal Crossing. 
And then if we continue to the left, we have some more blueberry plants. And another villager home with a pond in front. How cute. Whose house is this? Poncho's house. Adorable little yard with a fishing pond in the front. That is prime real estate, you guys. And it's at the front of the neighborhood back there. And here we have a blue pig farm with its own little barn. I love the blue piggy banks. And this is directly to the right of resident services. Oh my goodness. And now we get a nice view of those villager homes. Look at all of the symmetry. How beautiful is this? Oh, and then it takes you down another incline, which takes you to a picnic spot, which is her peninsula. Beautifully decorated. Broccolo is here hanging out. Oh, it looks like everyone's here hanging out. She put her shops on the beach over there where you can't get to them because who needs those anyway? And then when you continue to the left, here is like just a little fountain area where the peacocks hang out at. I love the use of the coat on the ground for the peacock's tail, and then the peacock design is on the hat. And then we are back at resident services. What a stunning island. Let's go back and go inside of the main house. Look how elegant her house is. She only did the main room of it, but it is better than anything I've done on the interior. I hate doing interiors. She did a phenomenal job. And I love how the curtains look like doors. Perfect. And we have some time left, so let me just show you a little sneak peek of the villager homes. This is Dizzy's house. She fits so much in this little space. It looks incredible. Oh, wow. Look at Mitzi's house. This is precious. I love the curtains with the blueberries on them. And I love how she made like a little room over there. Adding decor on top of those things. Extremely clever, you guys. This looks fantastic. And here we have Blue Bear's house. Look at that little blueberry on top of the fridge and the blue milk um, lights up here. All of the blue, just all the shades. Stunning. Stunning, you guys. Alright, so that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you to Squirrels underscore Crossing for letting me tour her very unique island, Blueberry. 
I had a blast. I think this island is gorgeous. Be sure to check her out on Instagram and give her a follow. She has started a new theme, so there is some new stuff for you to see. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next one. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well.